I wasn't planning on making a vote yes for BC proportional representation video. I knew that both sides were given public and donor funding to present their ideas. But the vote yes side is just making pandering videos using stock footage and the vote no side has fully crossed the line and I need to call them out on it. Their campaign is spreading misinformation, lies, and full-on fear-based propaganda. Instead of, I don't know, telling us why we want to vote for first past the post. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to vote for first past the post, but they're not giving you those. Here's a sponsored video that was on my Facebook feed yesterday. Proportional representation concerns me because my father lived through the Nazi occupation of Holland. And the idea that neo-Nazis, that extremist right-wing parties, could enter the BC legislature simply because they got 5% of the vote is absolutely outrageous to me. And here's the one that was on my feed today. Proportional representation? Extremists are elected to legislatures with a tiny percentage of votes. And here's Bill, the guy running the Vote No campaign, just having a casual chat on a Tuesday afternoon. A party with neo-Nazi roots, clear neo-Nazi roots, former Nazi SS officer in the 1950s, neo-Nazi ties and neo-Nazi connections to the party. The Vote No campaign would rather spend their money telling you that a vote for proportional representation is a vote for the Nazis. Yes, the Nazis. This is the textbook definition of fear-based propaganda, and I'm not going to stand for it. You know what? There was actually a party once that was known for their fear-based propaganda. I think they were called the not going to play the same game as you. They're trying to put pro-PR people in a corner where they have to defend that they're not Nazis instead of, I don't know, telling why they love proportional representation and why they feel disenfranchised. God forbid, first past the post has never emboldened Nazis. <laughs> Very fine people on both sides. Come on, Vote No campaign. You're embarrassing yourselves and you're embarrassing all these people who spent over $250 donating to your campaign to scare old people into believing that the Nazis are coming back. So why would someone vote for proportional representation? Maybe we've lived in a decided riding our entire life and our vote has never counted. Maybe we have parties that we really agree with and want to vote for but are told that we're throwing our vote away. Maybe we're disenfranchised voters and we feel that this two-party gridlock system isn't serving us. Yes, proportional representation is new, and yes, new can be scary. But there's so many countries out there that are so happy they made the switch, and there are so many great resources out there that can inform you on this vote. The vote no side is not one of those. And the vote yes side, I don't know what they're messaging. Yes, if an extremist party somehow gets 75,000 votes or more, they might have a seat at the table. But what's most likely going to happen for BC is all of a sudden the Greens are going to have a bit more power, and maybe the Conservatives, and maybe parties that haven't even been invented yet, that have their own vision of what a good society is, is going to have more power. We're no longer going to feel stuck voting between two options. And maybe, just maybe, the best ideas are going to succeed, not the ideas that are the most corporate funded. We will have a government that reflects the voters, not 40% of them. Of course this idea is scary for longtime party loyalists and lobbyists. And of course the system is scary for people bribing politicians because everything is about to change and probably not in their advantage. The Vote No campaigners are going to try to tell you that PR minority governments are unstable, but the majority governments that I've been exposed to sure spend a lot of time and money trying to reverse everything that the previous government had put in place. Look, minority governments have their flaws, but We've stumbled into a bit of a minority government right now and things are not that bad. Except for the fact that we don't have Uber. John Horgan, why can't we have Uber? Come on! Look, the fact of the matter is the government is never going to be perfect. But I'm ready for a change. I want to vote for a candidate I believe in and I am done strategically voting for the lesser of two evils. I want to vote how I want and I want my vote to count. I want to vote for proportional representation. Share this video if you believe in proportional representation and you're sick and tired of the fear-mongering on the vote no side. And please, help fight the trolls in the comments because I know they're going to make some very personal attacks against me. I'm voting yes on PR and my favorite system is rural-urban proportional.